travel in Scotland started with a simple idea that as a future home I knew very little of what the UK is made up of. Before moving to the UK, many areas in England, Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland is as unknown and unexplored as the vastness of Asia. I am excited yet quite nervous because today is my very first day where I'll be taking a challenge traveling around Scotland alone using only public transportation. Scotland is a diverse, spirited, captivating and complex country. A fascinating blend of ancient heritage and world landscape that touches one's soul and offers adventures in fantastic surroundings. What I find it fascinating about this place is there is very little to no civilization. Starting in Scotland's biggest city, Glasgow, I headed north and took Scotland's most scenic railway, traversing the mountainous region heading toward the Scottish Highlands. I then headed up to the Isle of Skye and had to deal with the constant wind and rain. I boarded a ferry to experience a sea voyage to the Outer Hebridean Island before continuing east to the Highlands capital, Inverness. I took the wonderfully remote train to the northernmost point of the UK, Thurso, before crossing the rough North Sea to Orkney. Leaving Orkney and passing through Scotland's oil and gas city Aberdeen, I boarded my final train, traversed the East Coast Railway and arrived in the Scottish capital, Edinburgh. Visited different regions in Scotland using a travel pass across a thousand miles in eight travel days. I encountered friendly locals, courageous travellers, untamed wilderness and more importantly, a sense of freedom. Through this journey, I found a sense of affinity and a sense of home.